Well, hello there, YouTube. This is Zootacular Steve. I'm welcoming you back to episode number uh, seven of our random roll zoo. For those of you just joining us for progress, the premise of this zoo is that we're using a random number generator to decide what the exhibits we display next. Uh, last time we were through, we went ahead and made some uh, rhinoceri, put in a nice little exhibit for our Indian rhinoceros down here, and. Um, well, let's just go ahead then and do a random roll, find out what we'll be doing today. I'm sorry that the intro was lame, but, um, words, what are they? Are they are. Yes. Random roll now. Uh, the generator says we are going to be 522. Okay, let's find out what that one is. Alright, so, 5, 19, 20, 21, 22. European Wildcat. Let's take a look here. I don't know if I've ever used this one before. Which is part of the reason why I want to do this uh, type of zoo, because it encourages me to do other things. It kind of looks like a bobcat. Let's see if we have a little uh, zoopedia on it. We do! Uh, let's see. European Wildcat, Phila Sylvestris Vestris, is a subspecies of the wildcat that inhabits the forest of yada 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 yada. Thick fur and size are distinguished traits. Not be mistaken for a domestic cat, although. Uh, did blah, blah 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 blah. Hmm. So it looks like a complete and total speciation for a domestic cat hasn't occurred yet because it can interbreed. Okay, but that's cool. We're going to be making a smaller feline exhibit. Um, I don't think we want to put this on the same path as the rhino. So let me see where we want to do this. Uh, if you remember our initial idea, because we knew the zoo would be randomized, was to make kind of this cluster area and then have three branching arcs. Um, let's see, what do I want to do with those arcs? Where exactly are we on the map here? So we can have one curve around our pterosaurs, uh, one's going down past the rhinos, and the one will go more or less straight out. Where do we want to put our cats? Um, hmm. This would be sort of a jungly area. Do... I want to put them here. I think I might... Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do, and then turn that area in between the two for a zookeeper. Okay, I think I've got a basic plan. Uh, it'll take me a little bit to figure out the exact display, but I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to build mode, uh, so you don't have to listen to me yap and think and hem and ha and um and er while we're figuring this out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that on, start the music, and I will see you on the other side.
All right, here we are, having completed our European Wildcap exhibit. Let's go ahead and take a walk through the Random Roll Zoo and see how it came out. Excuse me, I've got the seasonal pass. I don't need to pay. Hello, um, hello, Barls, hello. What were they, Rias? They were Rias, I, can, I remember now. Indian Vulture, I labeled this one. In fact, I think that's the only one I've labeled. Whoopsie, okay, let's move on. Uh, we've got the uh, Totally Not a Pterodon over there. Uh, do, 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 passing by our Barn Owl exhibit as we go here. And this is what I'm calling the Nexus. We can go right to see our Renos, or we can go to the left following this stone path here past these beautiful cypress trees down the dirt do to do and on our left lo and behold we have some european wildcats i can see one moving in the distance there zoom in enhance in fact i see two of them did you see two of them i see a one and a two there they are mewling about so let's go ahead and get out of camera mode here so you can get a better look at the whole exhibit you see i went kind of hard on the rocks to more or less disguise um disguise where they're coming from there is that one door there which kind of bugs me in one sense and in the other sense i feel like that's kind of what you would see in a real zoo where it's this obviously fake rock wall and then there's an obviously uh metal door although this one looks kind of like a wooden door but whatever hey there he's waking up from his nap what a good little wild cat this exhibit's probably a little bit bigger than they need but um that's okay i've got a few of them in there and i think you get a fairly good view um, just making a note to myself, what you probably could do to make it a little more realistic, now I'm thinking, is this fence right here on this angle, if I put it, in fact, I'm going to do it right now, I'm going to make a change live on the fly, that's it's, uh, almost unprecedented in my Zoo Tycooning, unless you watch any of my other videos, uh, right now, on the fly, I'm going to make this, uh, let's make sure it's the same height, nope, we need to go a little bit higher there. Uh, where's my four? Do to do. Five. Where's the four? Where's the four, man? Of course, I picked the one that doesn't have the right height. That's a three. Is that a four? It is not a four. That's a two. Okay, let me find one that's the four height real quick. Oh, I think I just saw it. Five. No, it was a four, two, five. <sighs> of course. What about you? You want to cooperate? Perfect. Okay. That's probably going to be a little better because it breaks it up into two viewing areas. It also, um, it does block the door when you're in front of it, I guess. So yeah, let's make that two viewing areas. So we can focus. Um, they're there, you can see them. It might be a little bit easier to see them if I take out the foliage, but I like how that looks, so tough. You'll have to just live with it. Yeah, okay, that's two distinct viewing areas now. That's better. All right, let's go ahead down the path and we'll check it out as if we were the zookeepers. You might have seen me making this zookeeper area up here. Do to do. Nope. Yep. Walk forward. Yay! I'm not as drunk as you think I am. All right, we'll walk down this fill path here. Uh, if we continue down the narrow path, that'll obviously take us into our prehistoric exhibit. But we're going to work on this area. I made a little lounge zone uh, just in case the zookeepers needed a break. Uh, you know, every time and then they need a smoke or whatever. Uh, oh, there is one of them that walked into the outdoor area. So let's go through the double fence here. And yes, there is a wildcat right there. Woohoo! You haven't even had dinner yet. There's nothing to full, little wildcat. Is that where you're going, or are you going inside? Yeah, you just wanted a little tasty treat. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoy your uh, work structure here. Let's go ahead into the inside area. Uh, that's something I'm liking to do more and more. Is I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I like to build these little... Uh, outdoor like off exhibit areas so they can be outside and not gawked at by the um, guest that's something that uh, good modern zoos do a lot of so i'm trying to do more and more but anyway back to here let's go no oh, did i not didn't leave a pathway for that that's okay we'll walk through here for now and in the future i will go back and fix that not gonna do another on the fly here we are in our nice medical tent area I don't know why I call it a metal tent. I guess it's just because it's got the white tiles. It's set up pretty nice. Uh, I started with two kitties in here. In fact, I think I see one still in. Yeah, there it is. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? You haven't had your dinner yet and you haven't made it outside. But your friend made it outside, so I know this is functional and working. They can get out and they can go left or right. So that's good. Good to know. And they're using the hay as an enrichment object. It's making them happy. That's great. And this should be our zookeeper entrance. 
into this area. Great. Perfect. Everything works the way we wanted it to. Let's go down here. Aww. Running around doing kitty cat things. Yeah, there we go. Kicking the tire, refilling the meat. Is that just, did I just pop my pee? It couldn't have been. I said the word meat. How did I pop a pee? I must be hearing things on the mic. Oh well, since I'm obviously having auditory hallucinations, I think it's time to end this episode. We'll do the zoom out so you can see it. And the little spinny thing so you can feel a little dizzy if you're like me and you have problems with dizzy things. It's actually felt in pretty good. It feels like it really hugs. I mean, I designed it around that exhibit, so I guess that makes sense. But I like how these two uh, exhibits kind of hug each other and kind of exist in a symbiosis relationship there. Let's take a look at it in map mode. And there we go. That works really nice. We've got our rias, we've got our barrels, our rhinoceri, Indian vultures, barn owls, totally not pterodons, and now our European wildcats all in our random roll zoo. Uh, so if we get more forest animals, we'll probably build them along this path. If we get more um, African or savanna animals, or I guess scrub animals, anything that fits sort of with the rhinos, we'll just arc this down. And if we get anything crazy that we can't understand, we'll just go ahead and continue this straight out. And then hopefully we'll get into like three sections, maybe a fourth weird section in the back. Uh, it'll probably get too big and the game will start crashing before we get all the way to the back. But uh, the good thing about Random Roll Zoo is we can just open up a new zoo and take another Random Roll. So I can keep going even after the zoo is unplayable. Uh, but anyway, I want to thank you for joining me today. If you did like this video, go ahead and actually like the video. Uh, if you want to keep up with this series or any of the other series on my channels, you're going to have to click the subscribe icon. Then I recommend clicking on that little bell because that's what the uh, little YouTube tutorial people tell me I'm supposed to say to you. Anyway, this is once again Zoo Tycooner Steve saying bye.